Oh, and Okay. All right. Like just so said. this is the song I don't have a name for. The other two guys, I mean, especially Thomas, just didn't know what he was talking about. Uh, the Thomas McCod guy, I thought, was more like musical, classically music oriented with the guitars and everything. And it wasn't really that much fun. He didn't know what he was talking about. I didn't really know the program at all. Like, most of the students knew the program better than he did. He facilitated electronic music for a year or so. And then he left. It was all through Josiah Hooper. I was doing soundtrack work for the Fruits of War, Josiah's documentary on Salvadorian gangs. He had come in just to check on the progress and noticed that I was composing in Reason and noticed, wow, that's the same software that we just fired our teacher um, at ACLC for and invited me to, um, to come in, at least tentatively, and talk to Paul about, um, about teaching the class. My first year at the center, I saw a class for digital music, and I thought, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll learn how to use the program and everything. And then I just kind of fell in love with it and been doing it for five? Yeah, five years. My favorite assignment of mine was this one where we had to take the song My Girl by, yeah, The Temptations, and uh, we sort of did our own thing with it. I was attracted to take electronic music because I thought that um, I've always listened to music, so I thought it'd be really cool to make music. I really like electronic music. It's really, really cool. It's like dancey, it's fun to listen to, and uh, let's see. Electronic music is just a really fun class. I, f I feel like this program is really the wave of the future as far as ways to get kids into making music and so the way I've been approaching it is really not from a traditional composition theory point of view but really from an intuitive point of view how can I get um, people without musical background into getting the musical ideas in their heads getting those to manifest in the in the physical world and I think that um, these digital platforms especially Reason are just amazing for for taking a relatively untrained musician and allowing them to to, to make those ideas um, become real. I feel like I've, I'm trying to balance traditional composition and theory exercises with um, hands-on intuitive ways of exploring through the software, as well as balancing these out with um, a certain amount of listening to other music and, um, and really kind of training your ear so that you can effectively work more intuitively by trusting your ear rather than these um, formal structures of music making. Mm.